Hi, I'm Chris Doherty, Technical Editor of the RV Travel Channel, and I'm here with a tool tip. Now, it, I can't tell you how many times I've been asked questions that have something to do with the temperature in an RV. It could be the temperature of an air conditioning system, a refrigerator, a range or a stove, or the wheels and hubs out on the outside of the coach. There's a great tool that every RVer should have, and they should have it in their tool, in RV toolbox, and that's an infrared thermometer. Now, the, these are available at uh, places like Harbor Freight or a lot of uh, auto parts stores. And the neat thing about this is it runs on a couple of batteries, and when you pull the trigger, it puts out a laser beam that you, that you use for aiming, and it'll read the temperature. Now, this is not for air temperature, but for surface temperature, but that's okay because the air temperature uh, around something will help to affect what the uh, surface temperature of that item is. So in this particular case, we'll take a look here at our air conditioner, and this is a common thing for people who think they're having a problem with their air conditioner. Uh, part of the uh, technical process of uh, diagnosing an air conditioner is to see what the difference is between the evaporator side and the condenser side, or the intake side, and the discharge side of the air conditioner. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to take a reading here at the uh, inlet where your filter is on the ceiling and some coaches will have this in different places. Uh, you want to see what the temperature of the air going into the air conditioner is and then you want to see what the temperature is coming out and you're going to go to the closest uh, uh, register and find out what the temperature is there. The difference is going to give an indication of how the, ref uh, the refrigeration system in the air conditioner is operating.